Hello YouTube, my name is Phantom, and welcome to part 2 of round 1 of Madden Madness Ilex. Here's the bracket thus far, so how's it shaping up? Any surprises? For me, the Bills, the Cowboys, and the Seahawks all surprised me in the first half of the first round, so let me know which game was your favorite of the second half in the comments below. Round 2 starts next week, so be sure to stay, be subscribed to stay up to date. Like the video if you enjoyed, and without further ado, here are the highlights from the second half of, the, of round one of Mad Madness. Enjoy! Alright, game nine, Redskins and Giants. First quarter comes with a chip shot field goal by the Redskins to take the lead. At the start of the second, Redskins lead, three zip. No more scores, Redskins maintain the lead going into halftime. No scores until the last 90 seconds of the game. It's Manning to Darkwall for the pull ahead deep. TD, 7-3 Giants. But their lead barely survives a minute as Cousins wakes up with this 36-yard throw to Vernon Davis that goes the distance. Redskins go up 10-3 with less than 30 seconds left. But Manning gets a chance to respawn, however he just runs out of time and forces this pick on the Hail Mary. And time's going to expire, so Redskins move on, winning this Boarfest turn thriller 10-7. Next up, Steelers and Ravens, always a good one. Steelers strike first with this touchdown by Bell, they lead 7-zip. And they're able to add a field goal right before the half to make it 10-0. However, Ravens pull themselves back in it with this 39-yard touchdown from Flacco to make it 10-7 at middle of the third quarter. Roethlisberger eventually responds with a touchdown of his own, making it a 10-point game again. But Ravens aren't done yet, though Flacco hits Perryman deep for this long TD to make it a three-point game with less than 75 seconds left and full timeouts. Ravens get a stop and Flacco gets 45 seconds to win or tie. He's able to get out of the end zone with this throw, caught before going out of bounds. And next play Flacco gets into field goal range and they're able to spike the ball. After an incompletion, Ravens go for the three instead of running another play. And after a nice attempt, Ravens miss and lose 17-14. Steelers move on. Game 10, Browns and Bengals. First score comes on Browns' first drive with this touchdown. Hustle by Kaiser. Pulls a Forrest Gump, and where's he going? Browns lead 7-0 at the half. Browns get the next score with a 35-yard screen to Johnson, who's able to take it to the house. Browns lead 14-zip. Cincinnati's not going quietly into the night, though, as Dalton finds Boyd with less than two to play. But it's all for not as Browns are able to run out the clock. Browns get their second win in almost two years, 14-7. Game 11, Lions and Vikings. Minnesota gets first real chance to score, but they miss the extra long kick. However, Lions are able to hit theirs and take a 3-0 lead as time runs out in the first half. Vikings get next score and the lead on this run by Murray. Lions are able to drive down the field, but oops. Stafford throws a pick six, and the score is now 14-3 here.
here with just under five minutes to play in the fourth. Lions drive down again and try to make it an eight-point game, but then Raiders kick is no good. Still 14 to three. Trying to get the first down, Vikings call a screen. That gets them a little bit more. How about a touchdown? 53 yards. 21-3 Vikings. And Stafford can't produce on his drive and Vikings win 21-3 after this kneel. Vikings move on and Lions go home. Packers and Bears. Chicago strikes first with this chip shot field goal, making it 3-0 near the start of the second. Rogers' first pass of the game, and who can expect anything less? Look at this. And just like that, Green Bay is on the edge of field goal range. The drive turns into a field goal, and the game is tied at 3-3. It stays that way until under two minutes to play, where it's a, the Chicago hits a field goal, and the Bears take the lead 6-3. Rodgers gets the Packers in the range to match. But Crosby misses it bad with under 10 seconds left. And the Bears go on to upset their division rival 6-3. And just like that, Green Bay's out. Next up, game 14, Texans and Colts. First score of the game is by the Texans on this third and goal. Yates to Thompson. So that makes it the score. 7-0 Texans. And they get another one to make it 14-0 with just over two minutes left in the first half. Texans have a chance to go up 21-0, but they get a little too cute with the run there. And five seconds, four seconds, three, two, and they don't get the spike off, so the score stays where it is, 14-0. No more scores for the rest of the game. And Brissett's ultimately shut out with that pick as three seconds remain on the clock, and that's it. Texans move on, 14-0. Game 15, Jackson Titans. Jacksonville gets the first score with this field goal just before the half, making it 3-zip. And so 3-zip at the half. On the other side, Mariota strikes next with his scramble. His performance in this one was just bizarre, piling up more scramble yards than passing yards. But the score is 3-7 Titans. And neither team is able to do anything. And the score stands still. Titans knock out the Jags. 7-3. Warning, this is the best game so far. If you only watch one game in this first round, watch this one. Otherwise, here we go. Get ready. Last but certainly not least, it's Falcons and Bucks. First play from scrimmage, Ryan hits Jones for 39 yards. Next play, Falcons take the ball all the way down to the one. And one play later, Falcons get the TD off a fullback run. So less than 90 seconds into this one, it's 7-0 Falcons. Hard to do it better than that. Three plays, one TD. Bucks respond with this 24-yard reception on their first throw. And it turns out they can do better. Two plays, one TD, tied game. 
So this one looks like it's going to be a shootout, right? But next score doesn't come until final two minutes of the first half with this field goal by Tampa to take the lead, 10-7. Third quarter is quiet. No one scores until this play where Ryan's driven down for a safety. Bucks under five minutes left. Under five and a half minutes left. Atlanta gets the ball back, and on this fourth and eight with under 90 seconds left, this bomb's incomplete. Turnover on downs. Falcons need a three and out, they get it, but Tampa gets a field goal to make it 15 to seven. Falcons need a prayer with no timeouts, down eight. First down is incomplete. And Ryan takes a sack on second down, but there is a flag. It's offensive holding, so the sack stands with 64 seconds left. Ryan now on third and 17, he's a deep. Down to Jones, who catches it. Falcons spike it with 43 seconds left, and their next play is good for 23 yards. It's Austin Hooper. Next play comes with 20 seconds, second, 27 seconds left, and Ryan takes another sack. They're able to rush back and spike it with 12 seconds left. Fourth down, this is the game. Ryan throws for the end zone, and it's incomplete. But there is a flag down. Pass interference. Ball is placed at the one. So, seven seconds left. It's Ryan. It's Toy Lolo. So, they need a two point conversion now. With one second left. They got it. Overtime. So Falcons get the ball first to start overtime. They get into field goal range, but Ryan takes a crucial sack here. That takes them out of field goal range, and then they have to punt. Tampa Bay goes three and out, and Falcons get another chance. But Ryan on third and eight. Picked over the middle. That sets up the game winning field goal. And Tampa Bay wins in overtime 18 to 15. Falcons are out. Alright, so there you have it. If you've watched both of these highlight reels, then you're caught up on everything. Hope you enjoyed. Like the video if you did, and be sure to subscribe to stay up to date. Round 2 starts next week, and I hope you're as excited as I am to see what happens next. So which game was your favorite? Let me know in the comments, and until next week, this is Phantom saying, have a good one.